This is question number 15 of exercise 5.1 from the chapter continuity and differentiability. The question is discuss the continuity of f where f is defined by fx is equal to 2x if x is less than 0, fx is equal to 0 if x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 and fx is equal to 4x if x is greater than 1. Okay, now to solve this question first of all we are going to check the continuity of the function in all the intervals in which the function is defined. So first interval we are taking is when x is less than 0. We assume that c be any real number less than 0 that is c belongs to this interval less than 0. Then limit of x tends to c for fx would be equal to limit of x tends to c for 2x and on applying the limits this would be equal to 2c. And f of c would be again equal to 2c because fx is equal to 2x in this interval x is less than 0 so fx is going to take the value 2x so f of c would be equal to 2c okay so this means that uh, limit of fx when x tends to c is equal to f of c is equal to 2c therefore f is continuous for all x less than 0 now we are going to take the second case when x is equal to 0 you can see that function changes the value at x is equal to 0 okay so therefore we are going to uh, check the continuity of the function at this point and for this we have to take the left hand limit and right hand limit now limit of x tends to 0 positive of fx is the right hand limit of the function when x tends to 0 and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of f of 0 plus h and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of 0 or 0 because 0 plus h is a value greater than 0 so it is going to lie in this interval x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 so therefore f of 0 plus h would be equal to 0 and uh, limit of x tends to 0 negative of fx is the left hand limit and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of f of 0 minus h and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of 2 into 0 minus h we have we have placed 0 minus h in 2x okay for instead of x I place 0 minus h so I get limit of h tends to 0 of f of 0 minus h as limit of h tends to 0 of 2 into 0 minus h and on applying the limit this would be equal to 0 okay so therefore limit of x tends to 0 positive that is the right hand limit is equal to left hand limit is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 so therefore function is continuous at x is equal to 0 now we are going to take the third case when x is greater than 0 and less than 1 that is in this interval removing the points at which the function changes the value okay so it is very simple let c be any real number in this interval so limit of x tends to c for fx would be equal to limit of x tends to c for 0 because fx is equal to 0 in this interval and on applying limit this will be equal to 0 and f of c would be equal to 0 if c is any real number in this interval. So this implies that limit of x tends to c for fx is equal to f of c is equal to 0. So therefore fx continues for all x in this interval. Okay. Now we are going to take the fourth case when x is equal to 1. So for this we are going to calculate the left hand limit and right hand limit when x tends to 1. So limit of 1 positive of fx is the right hand limit when x tends to 1 and this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of f of 1 plus h. Okay and uh, 1 plus h is a value greater than 1 so fx is going to take the value equal to 4x and this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of 4 of 1 plus h that is instead of x I have placed 1 plus h and on applying the limit this would be equal to 4 because h, is, h would be written as equal to 0 so this will give me 4 and limit of x tends to 1 negative of fx would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of f of 1 minus h and f of 1 minus h is going to lie in this interval in which fx is equal to 0 so this would be equal to limit of h tends to 0 of 0 okay so this so left hand limit is equal to 0 so this means that the right hand limit and left hand limit are unequal therefore the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 now we are going to take the last case when x is greater than 1 so let c be any real number greater than 1 okay 
So limit of x tends to c for fx would be equal to limit of x tends to c for 4x and this would be equal to 4c. Okay. And uh, f of c would be again equal to 4c. So limit of fx when x tends to c is equal to f of c is equal to 4c. Therefore f is continuous for all x greater than 1. f is a continuous function for all real number except x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 is the only point of discontinuity of this function which is the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.